Hey guys, it's Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and we're at one of my jobs at Riker today. Now, we're right in behind where Rabbit is, which is our high performance edition over at the dealership and I just bought the 2021 Ford Raptor. So let's get to what I like about this because I've had every Raptor of every generation. So let's check it out. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? So as you can see, the first big thing that they changed in 2021 was the interior, and I think they did a really good job of doing it. So as we can see, we have a huge, huge screen in the middle now, which was unlike the old edition. The gauges are completely different, and there are some options on this particular Raptor that have never been done before by a Ford truck that I've ever seen and or any other company. So let's get to it and go drive. So the first big thing I think is huge difference in 21 and is a big factor for me is quietness. So the 2021 Raptor, they really did their homework on how quiet they made the interior cabin by meaning there's no wind noise. You can barely hear at all the 35 inch tires as they turn. Now this may sound like, oh, well that's not a huge deal because it's an off-road truck. Well, most people buy the Raptor and they drive it as a daily. So it is a big deal. So the first trip that I took on this, actually the second or third day that I bought this truck, I drove it all the way to Chicago and back from Ohio, which was about a thousand miles, a little over a thousand miles. And in that entire time, the seat and the road noise never got to me, meaning that when you can drive something for 16 hours and your back doesn't bother you, that's a huge plus for me for as much as I have to drive around and do contracts and go out of state. The next big thing that I think that they changed on the Raptor, which I think is super awesome, is the fact they've made the exhaust completely adjustable, which we'll show you here later in the video. But just by a push of a button, I can make this thing go from ultra quiet to super loud, which obviously you can tell in the cab, but outside is a tremendous difference. The next option that I really like that the 2021 has that I've never seen before, and I know it's not been in the Raptor, is self-drive cruise control on the freeway. So if I hit the normal cruise control button, and then I hit the awareness button for the truck, then set it, it will literally drive itself down the freeway. So I want you guys to watch the steering wheel, and it's self-correcting itself down the freeway. Now it wants you to keep your hand on the steering wheel, but it's literally driving itself right now down the freeway and it's staying right in the middle of the lane. And it'll tell you to keep your hand on the steering wheel if it's not sensing you feeding back, but this thing is literally driving itself down the freeway right now. So as we come up here in another half a mile or so, this thing's gonna go around a corner and it's gonna do it exactly by itself, which is super awesome if you're like me and you gotta travel, travel out of state quite a bit for contracts or whatever, this thing allows me to be a little less focused on the road and kind of reduce that just driver stress. So you can see it's turning itself around this corner right now, which is amazing. So, you know, in reality, guys, we are about, I would say three to five years away from the cars completely driving themselves down the street. So to do this in the Raptor, I think they've had it already in the Explorer for a minute, but the Raptor, this is the first year they've been able to do it. And it literally does it flawlessly. We were going through a lot of uh, construction in Chicago and it picked up the cones and the, the lane changes and everything. So this thing is turning itself around this corner on the freeway right now. And as you can see, it's telling me to keep my hand on the steering wheel to show you guys how it works, but it is driving itself, which is amazing. The next big thing that we kind of hit on was the seat quality. What I find is that the bolstering is enough, but not too much to where I feel locked into the seat. I have really wide legs and hips for big squats for many years. And what I found is this seat fits me almost 
nearly perfect. So for long drives, it doesn't beat up my back. It doesn't make my legs go to sleep. I don't even really get those long, those long drive pains that most people would get in a normal car, and which is a lot of the reason why I always go to the Raptor. I always say I want to get something different in a truck or whatever, and I always go back to the Raptor based on one sole fact, which is ride quality. And we'll get to ride quality here in a little bit. But the last thing I wanted to touch on is they completely changed the door design and materials. Now supposedly this new composite material on the doors has an amazing wear rate and doesn't go bad for a very, very long time. So the dashboard and the side of the doors are built with this new composite material. It's supposed to be insanely heavy duty. Now, as you can see, depending on which options you get on this, you got heated and cooled seats. You have adjustable uh, climate control for both sides. And the back, if you have the crew cab, the back seat is nearly as comfortable as the front seat, which is getting pretty common now with new trucks, but I feel the Raptor really, really sets its mark on that. So next we'll go underneath it and we'll talk a little bit more about the engine and some of the mechanical advantages of the 2021 Raptor. Hey, 12 can't really stop shit, so I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit, in a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale, everything must go sell. Hitting bitches with the old well, need a hundred million to low scale. So hey guys, now we're underneath the 2021 Raptor and we're gonna see the real changes that they made. We've seen some body style changes, you know, the marker lights are fatter, all of those things. It definitely has a different look, but the real change in 2021 is the rear suspension. So this is a five link and now they're using coils instead of leaf springs with trailing arms. Now, I know when we jacked it up, you could see the amount of travel now that this has both up and down and the ability for it to really put power into the wheels by redesigning completely the rear suspension. So this is the first time I have ever seen this on a factory truck. You would see this type of setup all the time on something that's a real race truck for off-road. This is the first time it's been done on the factory. So as you can see, coils now instead of leafs, they went bigger and beefier on the rear shocks, which these are electronic and they measure the road both on and off-road. They measure the change in the pattern on the, on the ground or the detraction pattern on the ground um, almost a hundred times a second. So these new, these new suspension pieces are actually trying to dial in the ride 100 times a second, which is pretty impressive. Now the next thing that I think is really interesting, and this is the first time it's been done on the Raptor, is we heard in the changes in the exhaust, but let's look and see how they're doing that. So as you can see here, they're rerouting all this exhaust and doing these crazy bends and turns not only to get the 3.5 EcoBoost to sound better, but it also performs substantially better. Um, but that's how they changed the, the note now. They've been doing this stuff on Mustangs for quite a while, but now it's available on the Raptor. And I couldn't be more pleased or impressed with how it sounds being a V6. Now, some key things that changed underneath the bottom were not only the rear suspension, but they also went much, much fatter on the skid plate. So as you can see, I kind of went and took it off-road and checked it out, the four-wheel drive, and it works flawlessly. But the suspension in the front and the steering and the front shocks, they stayed pretty close to the same. These look a little bit bigger and fatter in 21, which I think they are. So the shocks are a little bit more beefy, but you could not be more impressed with how this thing rides, how it functions both on and off-road. Um, and I took it to where I, I got the whole front end buried underneath it, out of the house, where I'm out out in the country, and it performed flawlessly. So this is the 2021 Raptor. These are the things that they changed. I think that it was well overdue to go to a better rear suspension that they did, and boy, did it change the ride. I really believe that the 2021 Raptor is like riding in a Rolls Royce with off-road abilities. So we'll talk to you guys later and come visit Riker and tell them Matt Winning at winningtrank.com sent you and we'll get you a great deal on one of these 21 Raptors or one of the new Broncos.